OMG y'all, the holidays are not holly jollying for me as far as my pocketbook, Lord of mercy. Oh my gosh, we've got all the things that happen in Aldi, Walmart. We went in both, which is always a disaster instead of doing a pickup. You guys know, $88.17 for what you see at Aldi, Walmart. I'm not telling you guys the total because I bought a ton of Christmas presents that aren't included in it. Stocking stuffers, my total was million dollar, but I will pop up the prices for what you guys see here. And I might, I think I'm gonna come over to Walmart first and just show you the ice cream so I can put it up. I got the Bluebell Christmas Cookies. Um, I think this is a returning one. It is sugar cookie flavored ice cream with chocolate chips, snickerdoodle, and sugar cookies, red sprinkles, green icing swirled, all right? <laughs> I got that for the boys to treat them, but y'all, $9, $9. However, Bluebell is the goat. It is the best. If you have it, if you've never tried it before, you've got to try it. Y'all, we don't get this maybe but like once or twice a year. It is a treat. Moving back to Aldi, we got some pasture-raised eggs. Y'all, the pasture-raised eggs are going up. I think eggs in general are going up. The ones at Walmart have went up like almost $2 for a 12 pack. These were still the same price, but I'm scared that all these is gonna go up, but y'all know those are my favorite. We went with the classic white this week just because it's cheaper and it, it's not much of a difference, right? But it is a difference like 50, 60 cents at Aldi. So we got the classic white bread, got some pre-sliced plain bagels for Trey to take to school. We are almost out of all the breads. I went through all the stuff in the freezer. Aren't y'all proud of me? All the stuff in the freezer is gone as far as the bread stuff. So now we're just re-upping one thing at a time. Got him some bagels. Speaking of, I'm out of sourdough. Round bread from Aldi. This is my favorite one. If you've never tried it, give it a try. It is so good. They have all kinds of amazing breads at Aldi. I love their bread section. And this is for the weekends. I like to have that with some jam or some avocado, something like that. Some vanilla almond milk that is for overnight oats next week and my protein coffee. I got some sweet corn. I have three Elise Ellis meals that are on the meal plan next week from her November brand new meal plan. So look down below. We've never tried any of these. I'm excited. Check the meal plan to see what we're cooking because I don't even remember what they're called at this point. <laughs> my brain is fried from the Christmas stuff. So I got some corn for that recipe. Also some plain non-fat Greek yogurt, I think for a recipe and if I'm wanting to do yogurt bowls, two blocks of the third less fat cream cheese. Y'all, cream cheese at Walmart is million dollars. This is such a good price over at Aldi. I need it for recipes. Speaking of the overnight oats, I needed some more almond extract and it is the cheapest at Aldi. However, I have some beef with Aldi. You're gonna see, I got a lot of my original Aldi things at Walmart because y'all know I shop with my stuff in my Walmart app to compare prices. That's a smart way to do it. And everything is now being cheaper at Walmart and all these stuff is not like what's happening. I don't know. Uh, struggles. Green chilies for recipes. I needed two of those. I got a container of the organic chicken bone broth. One of her recipes specifically asked for this. So I got it at Aldi because it was much cheaper than Walmart. I got two blocks of sharp cheddar cheese for recipes. Colby Jack. I am making a crock pot macaroni and cheese from an Instagrammer that I love his stuff. So we're gonna test it out for the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight night when I'm filming this is tomorrow. I'm getting a lot of stuff for that fight night. We're doing like a like we usually do for our movie nights, but for a fight night. And then all the Christmas things are coming up. It's crazy. Speaking of that fight night, we're gonna do the jalapeno artichoke dip. Y'all know this is our favorite. It's got Monterey Jack, onion, and garlic. If you've never tried this, this is so flipping good. Everybody is obsessed. 90 calories for a serving. I'm going to be doing some breakfast enchiladas next week. It's not a new recipe from Elise. It's an old one, but we're going to do like a Brenner situation. And I needed some of the Mission tortillas, but these are comparable to the Mission and half the price. So I opted for those. Cinnamon rolls for the boys for Saturday morning. Their blueberries were on sale this week. Yes, please. And they look so plump and delicious. So I was happy about that. I've been loving the blueberries lately, but they have been so freaking expensive. I've never tried these kitchen sink cookies. These are all the bake shop ones. They have rich peanut butter with chocolate chunks, peanut butter chips, white confectionery chunks, pretzels, and coconut. That just sounded freaking good. I'm going to be making like the sugar cookie brownie viral situation for the fight night tomorrow with the turkey cookies y'all saw me haul last week and i wanted to have some other cookies on the side so that's my fill-in cookies speaking of tomorrow's fight night i'm gonna have some cheese and crackers and they have all the different holiday stuff out y'all like 
tons. You could go ape if you wanted to. And usually I don't buy these, but I was like, you know what? We, we're going to treat ourselves. Not your average cheddar. Cheddar cheese and Parmesan. That looked good. And then this is the double smoked. I love a smoked type of cheese, cheddar cheese. So I'm going to slice those up. I have a cheese slicer and put the crackers with it. Speaking of the crackers, we got the golden rounds. They do have the Ritz Christmas tree and ornament ones, y'all, at Target. Not in my store, I have to get them shipped. So I am getting those for lunch boxes and for Christmas movie nights. But in the meantime, we're going with the classic golden rounds. Lemonade pitcher packs for the boys. Pita crackers and the garlic and chive. I ate all the ones last week for my lunch bowls and those are for the fight night tomorrow. Speaking of the fight night, y'all know we usually do the baked chips, but y'all they have the holiday Clancy's potato chips. And I was like, you know what? We are trying this ish, okay? Turkey stuffing wavy potato chips are you kidding me right now gobble gobble like yes please i cannot wait to try those garlic mashed potato potato chips yes please that's gonna be i'm, I'm intrigued by that and then y'all know i'm obsessed now with these multi-grain tortilla chips they are so freaking good so i got those for the fight night tomorrow two raspberries and two blackberries the raspberries look really good the grapes are still cheap over there we went with the red this week because we've been doing the green and then i got some green onions for a recipe so that is everything for 88 dollars at aldi not too shabby especially with the specialty items this over here plus all the christmas stuff y'all I, I need to take out a loan <laughs> a loan to pay for this stuff for christmas oh i'm starting to do my shopping and boy is it showing i got three of the great value brown and serve dinner rolls Y'all let me know in the comments down below for Thanksgiving or Christmas, do y'all have a specific bread item that you have to have at the dinner table? For me and my sisters, we were always raised at Thanksgiving with the brown and served dinner rolls, whatever brand that may be, with little pats of butter and you put them in the oven and they are so nostalgic and good. Like we can't have Thanksgiving without these is what I'm saying. Last year I could barely find them and I finally found them at Aldi. So I saw them today at Walmart. So I got three of them because I'm always in charge of bringing those. I'll pop those in the freezer and they'll be ready for Thanksgiving. So happy to get that checked off my list. Got some French bread with garlic herb baked in store. Y'all, this one is so good and it's always sold out, I guess, because it's so good and everybody likes it. They also have the thick, wide, thick, wide one if you like that one for the same price, but I want the skinny one. We're going to do steaks, macaroni and cheese, salad and bread for the fight night tomorrow i still got to go to sam's club after this y'all gosh this just total this week i need to get three four four or five jobs to pay for everything <laughs> but that is for the fight night i got a million bananas they did not have organic at walmart anywhere but that's fine these are for next week and picture the price popping up there was an extra one i ate it in the car because <laughs> i was supposed to eat a banana post workout and i didn't i ran out of bananas is what i'm saying i ate a ish ton of bananas last week i'm a monkey over here so i got two for tomorrow the rest are for next week. I'll probably have to stop and get some more. I got the knockoff to the Frito dipping corn chips. These are such a good price and only my big Walmart has them. The little Walmart does not. They have a lot more variety at the big Walmart than the little one, I must say. So I got two of those for tomorrow's fight night. I got the laughing cow garlic and herb, y'all. We've almost went through that one I bought from Costco. The healthier pastaroni that y'all see me make all the time in the vlogs. And I wanted, I like the garlic and herb versus the regular one better. I have that on plan for lunch next week. So that is for my lunch. I'll go through this entire thing next week. Some sour cream for the mac and cheese recipe tomorrow. French onion dip for the fight night with the ch special chips. I can't wait for those. Daisy cottage cheese. I ran out of cottage cheese. So I need this actually this week and next week for lunches and stuff. Oikos triple zero. That's for Trey. And also for my overnight oats. I have the strawberry ones on plan next week. I got this little Bob Evans egg whites. Y'all, I used to go hard on the egg whites. They've been with me for a long time hard but i am sick of the egg whites but i need these for a recipe and what i'm saying is i didn't want to commit to a big one because i'm not going to eat them right now so i just got that one for the recipe for trey's lunch boxes i got the four count of the light and fit smoothies they only had the strawberry banana fine and then to throw in the extra day with the peach speaking of him i got four of the light greek peach yogurts and i got some celery for a recipe onion for a recipe i needed two bags of the reduced fat fiesta blend and y'all they had two bags on the shelf that was it i snagged them up some of the thin sliced roast beef y'all remember i got the hillshire farms or whatever last week this one's come down now so now it's cheaper but whatever it's fine hubby's lunch boxes market side mild italian ground sausage i'm going to be making a new cheesy dip tomorrow for the fight i'm excited to try out and it calls for a pound of italian ground sausage also for that dip, I needed exactly, I think 16 ounces. So I went with this because it was cheaper 
and I don't need the other one right now, just to knock off to the Velveeta. I did not realize that Walmart sold these big Mama Jamas of the reduced sodium chicken broth and the family size. You get 48 ounces for the price popping up. That is a killer deal. So I went ahead and got two of them because I had three of the regular ones in my cart. All the recipes next week call for a million things of chicken broth. So I got those. I was happy to see that. Do y'all follow Teeny on TikTok? She's a, a chef. She has amazing recipes. She is viral for her mac and cheese. Everybody makes it apparently. And she recommends this specific type of pasta. And I'm not making her recipe tomorrow. I'm making the other guys, but I'm using her noodles to see if that makes a difference. We're going to test it out. For recipes next week, I needed two cans of 28 ounce of the whole peeled tomatoes, half gallon of whole milk for the macaroni and cheese recipe, two of the Fairlife 2% for my pre-workout and for the boys for cereal. Speaking of cereal, instead of getting the corn pops, I almost got my big bag of feet again. Yes, I almost went through the whole bag in a week. I told you guys. I'm, I'm going to switch things up. See if I like this honey bunches of oats with strawberries. I love like a special K strawberry situation. And I thought this would be good, but it was $5 for the 16.5 ounces. Like what? They don't make a knockoff of this. I would have got it. You guys know, but we'll see. We're, we're just, just switch it up and pay an arm and a leg for cereal. Pop tarts. I'm totally out of pop tarts and Apple Jacks is my favorite. I have some other things I'm going to use for pre-workout just to get them out the pantry and go through. But in case I get sick of it, I wanted to have my trusty Apple Jack, Jack ones on hand. I got two leggings. I, I did throw these in, even though I didn't show you guys all the other non-food stuff. I said I got to show my girls, my spooky bees that watch this. Look at these leggings, y'all. <laughs> they have like skeletons with peppermint eyeballs. Are you kidding me? Um, what does it even say? I don't know what it says, but it's so cute. I got one for me and one for my sister. Oh, man down. These are like fleece leggings. They're going to be, sorry guys, they're going to be warm, but that's okay. Comfy, cozy, right? If you watch my Dollar Tree haul, if not, I will link it up above for y'all. I mentioned I would have rather those gift wraps be green and red versus blue. And I found these at Walmart, and guess what? These were $1.24, so cheaper than Dollar Tree, y'all. And I think there's more on here than the Dollar Tree one, so Dollar Tree be trying to rip us off. I saw a lot of things that I got at Dollar Tree that were more expensive there than at Walmart today. So check Walmart. Some things are cheaper, I must say. And last but not least, Lord and Mercy, and we still got another store to go. I got the Airwick Fresh Pine and Juniper. It is that time. We're about to switch from the fall scents and get on smelling like a Christmas tree up in this joint. So that is what we got to tide us over from Walmart. Jeez Louise. And from Aldi. Sam's Club is going to be a big one too, y'all. This might be a really expensive grocery haul overall. Again, I got to get five jobs. Y'all, I have to stay out these stores and take a grocery haul vacation next week. Oh my gosh. Sam's Club, $308.52. Yikes. And I told you guys, my Walmart haul was way more than you guys saw because of hashtag Christmas. And that doesn't even include the little Target order over there. Holy smokes. Next week, y'all, we, we, we eating whatever's in the house. <laughs> That's, I, I say that, but you guys, we'll see a grocery haul, but dang, we got to keep it on the minimum. Lord of mercy. I got a two pack of the raisin cinnamon bread. We have zero. Y'all know this is my jam. It's on plan for me for breakfast and Trey eats it too. I did get those everything, kitchen cookies, whatever, but these are my favorite from Sam's Club. The little medley with the oatmeal raisin are so freaking good if you've never tried it the white macadamia are fire and everybody loves a chocolate chunk for seven dollars and 48 cents for that many cookies you can't beat it saving you time speaking i love the sam's pre-made section hate on it if you want i think it's better than costco fight me i love it so much i wanted to get the cob salad but i don't think my brother-in-law or my sister likes blue cheese so i opted for the caesar salad with dressing and lemon and croutons family size this big old thing was eight dollars and eleven cents for all the stuff you could add chicken on there if you want to use this as a meal prep. That would be a good option. So probably make you four meals and then add your protein. How easy is that? Good idea. And then I wasn't going to get any sushi, y'all, but y'all know I'm obsessed with sushi and only me and my sister eat it. So I love some Sam's Club sushi. Don't knock on it. This 20-piece combo is fire. It's got the tiger one. Walton, the Cali Crunch, and the Dragon Rolls in there, which are all delicious. For $15.73 for 20 pieces, you can't beat it. So I got that for me and my sister to munch on for the fight night tonight. 
pre, uh, I was gonna say pre-workout, pre-dinner is what I'm saying. Speaking of dinner, down here we got some of the top sirloin steaks. Their steak section is top notch. I was running pretty quick in there, but these looked really good and this was perfect because everybody, including Trey and Waylon, my two boys, are going to eat a steak. So we have six of us, we needed six steaks, I got it. $31.70. Now, how many people can say they can go to a steakhouse, six of you, and eat steak for 31 bucks? I don't think anybody can say that. So I think that is awesome. And we're doing a steak night tonight. Speaking of that, the Kinder's Cowboy Butter with Dijon Butter and Chili. I've almost flew through this entire thing. It is so good. I eat it on chicken, beef, all the things. I am obsessed. And I don't know if they're going to have it long because it came out over the summer, I think. So I saw that my girl Jamie hauled it and I was like a reminder, throw one in cart. They had it at my store. So I did. Uh, I'll be sad to see that one go. It's a good one. If you've never tried it. Give it a try. Uncured Canadian bacon. We haven't hauled this in a long time. This is for Elise Ellis's breakfast enchiladas we're going to do. You get three of these, like one pound packs, I think it is, maybe, or the whole thing's one pound, probably, um, for the price popping up. So it's not bad and cheaper than getting it at like Walmart and stuff, and this one's better in my opinion. I got the Greek style pita bread. You get 12 flat bread, white ones in there for the price popping up. These are for Trey's homemade pizza Lunchables. I cut it in fourths. And it is delicious. They love it. Like even Waylon likes it as like a weekend, like lunch option that I'll do for them. And these last forever. I leave so many out and I put the rest in the freezer and just take them out when I need to for lunches. That's why you haven't seen them in a while because they last so long. Pimento cheese is for Trey. It is his favorite for his homemade <laughs> little Lunchables with the Ritz crackers. I did get one of the holiday Christmas peanut M&Ms. They are on an instant saving, so it's a pretty good deal for this 62 ouncer. I got this for my brother-in-law. No, I didn't get any for us because we still have Halloween ones overflowing and we haven't went through those yet. So I was like, you know what? We aren't getting any, I'm boycotting it. <laughs> so I just got those for my brother-in-law. I wanted to get these last time I went, but I couldn't find them anywhere, but they had them on display today. So I was happy to see it. The members mark hot chocolate truffles. Now they still have the toffee truffles. Let me back you up and show you these um, that we hauled, where are they at? These toffee truffles, you see they're almost gone. The boys love these. All three of the boys are obsessed with these and they still have these. So if you haven't tried those, give those a try because the boys like them. But I thought they'd like these for the holiday season. They are creamy melt away center with marshmallows and a decadent shell sprinkled with peppermint for that delicious hot chocolate flavor. Okay, Sam's, I see you. So we got those. I got some natural sliced strawberries. This is such a great deal. It's like $7 for four pounds. They're so expensive everywhere else. And these taste fire. So, so good. In my strawberry milkshake overnight oats. I used all the four pound bag I had. It lasted a good while. Needed to re-up. I'm doing a shrimp and corn soup situation from Elise next week. And she calls for a fully cooked shrimp. So that's what I got. Saving me some time. Y'all know I usually get like the raw and cook it myself. I'm doing what she says. I'm listening to directions this time. I got the Lance Variety Pack Sandwich Crackers, the 40 pack. The boys are completely out of snacks to take for afternoon snack. You guys, I've mentioned it before. And I got some things that are different, okay? So both the boys love these variety of crackers. Pretty good deal for that. So I just got that. Hubby will eat that for lunch too. And then Waylon, tray two, <laughs> and the hubby. They love these Ritz bits and the cheese or the peanut butter. I wish this was a variety pack where it had half and half, but it's fine. It's fine, as Waylon says, but he's going to be so excited to see these. So he'll probably grab that every day for his afternoon <laughs> snack. So I had to re-up on snacky stuff. Speaking of Waylon, every year for Christmas... Um, Santa brings a Pokemon card set from Sam's Club. They do an exclusive one every year. This is the one they did this year. It's $39.99. Sea and Sky Premium Collection Crown Zenith. I'm hoping there's some shinies and rares in there. Like these in the front look pretty good. Okay, I, I guess, you know, your girl knows nothing about it. Just listen to what he says, but I still don't understand. You know, <laughs> but hopefully he'll like that. But that's going to be a Christmas present. Speaking of Christmas... Oh, big Deborah, Deborah, you little rascal, you. We got the 20 count of the Christmas tree cakes. Do y'all know that they're selling the Christmas tree cakes at Sam's? Like Sam's freaking genius for this, okay? Genius because they're going to sell out of these puppies, I assure you. So I got one for my sister and my brother-in-law. I'm gonna give it to them tonight when they come over for the fight. And one for us, because we've already bought uh, too many to say, okay, of the donuts 
and the cakes. We bought way too many, but you know, it's just the season to be uh, gaining some pounds. <laughs> you know, I mean, you live once, you live once. Um, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna put you on to some clothes items. I know I usually don't buy this kind of stuff, but this is Christmas stuff for Trey mostly. I did get some things for my, myself. You know, I'm always buying stuff. Treat yourself, treat yourself, you know? I got these Sherpa lined joggers. So inside, they put a little patch on the outside so you can see it. Look at the Sherpa inside. All right, telling you guys a secret. It'll be in my wrap and chat video that I do. But from Daddy and I, we are giving the boys a Dollywood trip. We are leaving the day after Christmas to go to Dollywood. Total surprise. They do not know yet. I am so stoked to see Waylon's face when he opens up the tickets. That's going to be for, it's the only thing that hashtag mom and dad are buying, okay? So last time we went to Dollywood, the week before Thanksgiving, it was 19 degrees and we liked to froze our butts off when we went with Jen and her family. Um, we're going the day after Christmas. I think we're setting ourselves up for failure. However, I said, you know what? Not, not today, Satan. We're going to be wearing some Sherpa line joggers. I don't know about my hubby and Waylon, but me and Trey, we got to be warm. Our booties are going to be toasty. You heard? So I got some Sherpa line joggers in the black for me. And then I got this like cream color for Trey. I thought that'd be cute. I didn't want it. I got him a black pair back there. So I didn't want to get him too black. We wear the same size <laughs> as far as bottoms go. I also got him this Eddie Bauer, uh, like, I don't know. It's kind of like a fleece lined, but it's got the button up like the half thing. So cute. It's got like little details at the bottom with the logo. They had it in, I almost got him too. I almost got him the black one too. But he doesn't have a lot of stuff like this because of his school uniform stuff. So I had to get him stuff to keep him warm for our trip is what I'm saying. Also got Trey some of these tech fleece pant, plant, 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 pants. Um, they were like $10 on an instant savings. They had plenty of colors. So if your kiddos, teenagers, hubby, yourself, like I wear men's stuff all the time. If you're in need for this kind of stuff, Sam's Club, the price is right. It's right. And it's like top notch quality, I will say. Now I'm going to blame our girl, Daniela Diaries for this because in her Sam's Club video she posted, she was like, girls, they got the express boot cut jeans for these. It says retail is $88. I paid $25 for these. But when I saw that they had them in this like faded black color in boot cut, um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They went home with me. I got a size eight. They feel pretty stretchy and y'all know that test where if you put the waist thing around your neck and if it's, it should fit your waist, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I did and it fit and I was like eight in the cart. That's what we're going to try out. But I thought that'd be good for our trip and for the season. I don't have any boot cut black. I'm always looking for black. Black is hard to find in jeans. Anyway, a good pair is what I'm saying. So thank you, Danielle, for that tip. I went straight over there hunted them down. And when I saw they had them in black, I was like, Psh, in the cart. That's everything I got from Sam's. They had a three for 16 deal at Target for their drinks. And they were out of the brisk tea at uh, Sam's Club. So I got the zero sugar and the Dr. Pepper. If you've never tried this Canada Dry Fruit Splash Zero, it's five calories a can, y'all. It is so good. Forget that new 7-Up Shirley Temple. I haven't even tried it. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's gross. Most people say it's gross. I'm like, hard pass. Get this. It is so good. If you've never tried it, I'm gonna ice them down for the fight tonight. And then I got the A&W Zero Sugar Root Beer. The hubby really likes that one. Good price for drinks. And then y'all, if you've been around any amounts of time, you know what this is. This is Target's favorite day popcorn. The Chunky Chocolate is the one I went ape on a few years ago. And I don't even wanna know how many pounds were gained from it. But let's just hope they all went to gains is what I'm saying. Uh, this one is so good. It's got popcorn pretzels and potato chips with chocolate, white and milk chocolate drizzled on top. Y'all, it is fire. It was on a deal. They're usually $5. It was like $3 and something. You see, I only got one. One. I'm going to try to save and, and ration that out. And then I got the holiday fruity flavored mix just because it was red and green for our Grinch movie night coming up. I thought that'd be cute. So y'all, I'm hoping next week is like non-existent haul. I know y'all don't like that. Y'all like these big ones, but me, um, yeah, we got to take a chill pill, girl. This, this is a little excessive. Feel 